Federal regulators have shut down the bus company involved in that deadly bus crash in Virginia on Monday. The bus was on its way from North Carolina to Chinatown in New York City. It's the third deadly tour bus accident in our area in the past three months. Now lawmakers are hoping to make bus travel safety, safer. Please join us this morning, uh, New Jersey Senator Frank Lautenberg. Senator Lautenberg, nice to have you here. Why do the feds always seem to get involved after the crash? They well, knew this company had a bad safety record. Yeah, uh, and one of them had uh, incidents over months, and it's just not tightened up inspection. So I've written law to it. We're, uh, it's in the process of being developed uh, to say that these the inspections have to be held more regularly, that the uh, they have to know more about the drivers, that they have to have reasonable uh, elapses between uh, the times that they drive. Some of these guys have been driving for hours, too tired, uh, and you know what happens. These are very low-priced uh, rides. They're, it's an effective tool for people to get around with, but on the other hand, we cannot uh, put safety aside and say, okay, here's a cheap ride. Senator Lautenberg, I'm old enough to remember the time when you could smoke on airplanes, <laughs> and they came up with this idea to get rid of cigarettes on airplanes. It was very controversial at the time, like, you can't do that. People, they need to smoke. That was your doing. You made it the law right. that people could not smoke on airplanes. We have you to thank. It probably wouldn't have happened uh, nearly as fast. Why not? Why don't you l mandate seatbelts or offer legislation that seatbelts be required on buses? It seems we use them in cars. Why not in buses? Well, the same. It should happen, and that's one of the things that we're trying to do. Also, the reinforcement of the roofs on on these buses. There are things that we can do that are mechanical things that are will guarantee to have a safer ride. But you can't take a, a driver that's tired, drugged, you'll forgive me, or, uh, or out, uh, drunk and have them in front of a, a bus carrying 40 or 50 people. And they travel at high speeds, which we can be governed mechanically. But all these things have to be done to modernize the bus fleet. We can't stand still while people think they're getting a cheap ride and actually they may be taking the most dangerous ride of their lives. We've been told that law enforcement, you know, does not like to pull over these bus companies. And, you know, you'll be on the road. You see these tour buses going so much faster than you on the road. They don't like to pull them over because they're so big and they don't want them on the side of the roadway. I mean, how do we, like, you know, send a message to law enforcement? you got to pull these guys over because sure. it may be dangerous in the long run. Well, we recently had surprise inspections by the DOT, Department of Transportation found lots of infr infringements and I think uh, what we're doing is setting a pattern to say look it, to bus companies if you don't behave the penalties are going to be severe you can lose your license uh, and you've got to do better and we have to watch closer all right so you'll be holding hearings or when will you actually introduce something we've introduced the bill and we have held a hearing and now it's just trying to work it through the mechanism as you might know things are complicated in Washington yes they are and even more so now